Hello everyone, Spongester here, and Spongebob, stop doing that. Um, uh, welcome back to Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. So, um, the last episode we did, and it was kind of like a laid-back episode where we, we didn't really do much. And again, isn't that like every other episode? I don't know, I'm really bad at making progress. Um, and this time, I, I feel like lately I've just been... Accepting that pretty much just accepting the fact that I'm not the best at making progress and in, in video games All right, let's talk to Maria, man Whoa, hey, that's racist Come on, you can't say that anymore Maria, man. It's 2020 You can't can't say that stuff anymore. You get canceled, buddy. I don't know if Spongebob will ever call Mermaid Man Bunny. Uh, bunny. Bunny. <laughs> buddy. <laughs> Not Bunny. He <laughs> never calls him Bunny. <laughs> yeah, well, actually, I don't think, I don't think Spongebob will ever call him Bunny either. <laughs> oh, I, I, oh, I know. In each of these funnel of shades! Do the wo the so fu Do wo the fo fu So the to Why is it so funny? I think it's because it's so late at night that I'm recording this. It's like two AM and like I'm just dying from Throw the th the toe through t <laughs> the toe through t the toe out to the toe out the toe through. T <laughs> I don't know, man. My sense of humor is so bad. <laughs> I just laugh at pretty much anything nowadays. <laughs> oh my goodness! All right. Oh. All right. Throw it. Oh, come on. It wasn't time to throw it. Oh, actually, that was pretty good. I did that on my first try. Wow. Um. Oh, yeah, I tried at the beginning of this month to do something called No Twitter November, where I just don't... Oh, wow. I just I threw that in, a, in the wrong way. Um. I tried to do this thing called No Media November, and that failed on, like, the third day. I just gave up on that, and then I tried to do no Twitter in November, and then Unus Honest happened, and I wanted to see if it was trending on Twitter, and then I, I, I downloaded the app for like a day, <laughs> and then immediately deleted it because Twitter is like the worst app ever. <laughs> yeah. Unus Honest is such a... Unus Honest was surprisingly so big this year, because I remember like the day they... They, like, were first advertising the channel. And I remember when it, there was, like, only four videos on the channel. And now, like, it's this big thing that everyone was talking about on, on YouTube and social media in general. Uh, it's crazy. Just how big Unus Honest became in, like, within the last week of its, its presence. Of its existence. It's lifespan. Yeah, let's just try to think of more words to say for... J just to prove how good I am at knowing words. In fact, I played, uh... I played Hangman with my mom yesterday. Like, I was coming up with, like, this really... <laughs> I came up with the word anaphase, which is a stage of mitosis. Um, for all you biology people out there. <laughs> to... Because I, I wasn't really winning, so I had to come up with, like, this this word that, like, only people with 420 IQ or higher could understand. <laughs> yeah, Hangman was fun. And just playing board games in general is, is pretty fun. Like, I remember I looked at the, like, I have this game, this board game called The Allowance Game. And basically, it's like a like a life simulator, but like for a child. <laughs> like it has all the scenarios about money. And like, 
Like, it's such a cool game. I really like it. Such a, a fun game. Oh my goodness. I'm so... I need to get better. I need to get better at these games. I really need... I, I really do. Alright. Let's try and actually improve. Oh. oh no. Okay. Let's try and be careful. Okay. There we go. I got it. I got it. No worries. No worries. I think that's all right. Yeah. The three. <laughs> the only three here. Alright. Let's talk to Marie, man. Now I can get some sleep, dude. <laughs> like, again, it's been... S I'm, it's so late at the time as the time of when I'm recording this. Like, it's so late <laughs> at night, dude. <laughs> like, uh, as soon as I'm, I'm done recording this, I'm going straight to bed. Which is something that I say, I'll, like, quite a bit in these videos. Also, also by the way, I almost missed that spatula. <laughs> I did not notice it was there because it blended with like everything else in the background. Uh, you know, with this dark setting. Alright. Oh, oh, no, shoot. I didn't do it. Alright, I, I need to stand right on the star. The pink star. Oh, come on. Oh, yeah, and also today I add like descriptions for my. For, like, almost all of my playlists. So now you can check them out. Hmm. Gonna need a lot more power to activate the hydroacoustic Doppler modulator. The who? You think you can handle this? I can see Squidward's house from up here. But he's not wearing any pants. Oh, wait, he never wears pants. <laughs> now listen up. There are eight cylinders over there. If you throw something at the cylinders, it'll turn around to the power side. A reward? I never won a reward before. Oh, I thought I, I accidentally skipped that. I was watching Squidward. <laughs> seems like something that I would intentionally do, but I actually like accidentally pressed X and skipped it. Uh. Alright, so we just have to hit these things in order. Oh, wait, it's gonna wilt. Yeah. Alright, just make sure I don't lose track of the button. Also, the target is kind of off compared to the button itself. It's a little off, but it's okay. Because, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. Alright, there we go. It's done. The deed is done. Also, I am... I, I like how... Like, a few weeks ago, I was, I was, like, questioning whether or not I... I lost my touch when it comes to Spongebob. What do you need all that power for? Why my foot bath, of course. <laughs> Here, have a golden spatula. I think it had something to do with massaging my feet. <laughs> um, look, I remember... Like... A few weeks ago, I was, like, saying, like, I was losing my touch when it comes to Spongebob because I was, I thought, like, I, I stopped, because I used to quote Spongebob, like, at least once a day, because I just love quoting the show. Like, the show has so many memorable lines in it. Oh, great, I missed the sock. Well, let me get it again. Well, actually, I can get it as Spongebob. No worries. Oh, wait, I have to... I have to be Spongebob. Where's the... Oh, there it is. This move's quite slow and quite weird. I just said quite in twice in the same sentence. But, um... Yeah, uh, and then... I just now realized that I've been always, like, doing that. Like, quoting Spongebob every single day. Like, it's something that I never really realized that I... I do, because it's just something that's normal. Like, I've always been quoting Spongebob. Like, for a very long time. So... Wait, what? This is this is weird, though. Like, you have to get the right side. Uh, that That's kind of weird, though. I guess maybe that was intentional. Like, to try and guess which side is correct. 
That's a part of the challenge. Also, it's kind of crazy how, like, the first level that we get the Bubble Bowl, which is is rock bottom, which we don't use the Bubble Bowl at all in. So, it's only, like, used heavily in this level. So, it's kind of weird. Also, this level doesn't really even require any spatulas. Like, that's, I think, this is the only level besides Jellyfish Fields that... Is pretty much like free. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Free is probably not the right word. Why does this thing look more menacing now? It looks so much more menacing. Uh, I think these are my are my least favorite uh, robots in the game. It's like they're kind of weird how they work. They're so much me more menacing too. Like how they have like spikes. I think on them. It's so weird, and the facial hair does not help at all. And that evil look, because it's plankton. Alright, I'd be good at this. I'd be good. Come on, let's do this. Why is it, like, jumping? Is it because of these, like, these weird pebbles? Why are they here? It's so weird. Like, why would there be, like, rocks on, uh... Why would there be rocks on what I think is, like, metal? I don't know. I don't know, dude. I don't know what that was supposed to be. Why am I not? What was what was what what's going on? What is what is happening? All right, I'm gonna try and come on. Why is it not doing? Wait. What is? What? 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 Why is it not working? It keeps bouncing off of something. I don't know what. Wait. Did that work? I don't know. It's something. I heard something. What? Okay. I don't know what's going on here. Alright. Thank you. That, that was weird. Why was it doing that? Why was it like bouncing off something? I don't, I don't know why. I honestly don't have a reason. Then again, I don't have a reason for many things. Also, by the, also by the way, for November thirteenth, I watched um, I watched Shark Boy and Lava Girl, and surprisingly, it was a good movie. Like I was expecting to be either boring or bad. Uh, cause I heard I never hear anyone express their thoughts on Shark Boy and Lava Girl of all movies. But it I honestly enjoyed it. I honestly enjoyed that movie. Like I loved I loved the George Lopez show, so I like George Lopez's performance in that movie. Like he acted that way. He acted like George Lopez in that movie. And that's what I liked about it, even though he's not really playing himself. Like it seemed like he had something to do with the writing, the writing process of the, with the writing in that movie, especially his lines. So this seemed like something from the George Lopez show, or someone was like a big, just that big of a fan of him and like knew exactly how to write for him. Uh, I kind of want to believe the latter, because you know it is definitely impressive the fact that he. That he was written so well in that. In that movie. So yeah. Uh, come on. Just try and get the spatula please. <laughs> just try and get the spatula. It's very simple. Just get the spatula. No worries. Um, okay. Where am I supposed to... What am I doing? Alright. I need to get this. Also I like how they have a bowling pin on them. So I can know... So that way you know that it's only some, it's only a button that is, that's a button that can only be pressed with the, with, with the bubble bowl. That's, that's a nice the touch. Also, fun fact, Barnacle Boy is in this thing, apparently. You know, in order to actually, like, talk to this thing. Like, Barnacle Boy is apparently inside the thing. Well, I, I mean, probably not in this version, but 
in the original, definitely. Listening. Got it. Alright. Okay, so now we go to... Okay, where do we go? I think we go to... Yeah, there. Now we're going to... The Mermelair Security Tunnel. <laughs> where all of their secrets are... Are hidden. Gary, I see you made your way down to the deepest recesses of the Mermelair. Ooh. Oh, you took the elevator. He doesn't seem like he really cares. What elevator? Why, could, why couldn't we just go to the elevator? Why didn't Mermaid Man and Bark Boy ever tell us? Why didn't Mermaid Man and Bark Boy tell us about the elevator? I mean, probably because they don't like SpongeBob, so they just purposely didn't tell him about the elevator. But you know, okay. Uh, yeah, we need to go over here in order to do the the uh, the color red things. Yeah, why are they called color reds? Well, I, mean, I mean, it's it's a simple name, I guess. Like, there's more than just the color red. I guess it's just because the color red is the one that's most important because it's the one that because it's the one that that makes you take damage. Alright, yeah. This is a cool idea, though. But I'm sure some Nintendo game or something, like, did it before them. Before this game did. Oh, wait, what? Why did I get hit? Oh, I didn't even know that robot was even there. I didn't even notice it. Because, again, it blends so well with the background that I didn't even notice it was there. Oh, my goodness. I'm... Ah! <laughs> ah, oh, man. I'm so I was so close to the to, to platforming like a boss. Oh my goodness, was I am I actually the first person since like 2015 to say like a boss? Oh, like a boss! I I, I forgot that that Jack Slipper guy. That that's part of his outro. <laughs> I forgot about that. So yeah, maybe I'm not. <laughs> um. Oh, I thought the whole thing was like laser. Uh oh, yeah. I actually, you know what? I'm. I don't care about those robots. I'm just trying to, trying to make it my make my way downtown. Oh, come on, come on. You're better than. Oh. Okay. I I really need to be careful here. I only have two pairs of underwear. Wearing three pairs of underwear. Why? Wearing wearing three pairs of underwear right now. Here, here's my secret TV, my secret TV, and my secret TV channel. <laughs> and Secret Box is such a good episode. Look, I gave that one a 9 out of 10 when I reviewed it back in last year. <laughs> yeah, all the way back in last year. Well, actually, I think it, it was 2018 when I reviewed that, actually. Yeah, November 2018. I remember because uh, it actually, like, well... Actually, that review came out, like, I think two weeks before Hillenburg passed. So, yeah. And also, there, apparently there are still people who are treating what Paul Tibbet said, like, 100% proof that Hillenburg, that Hillenburg was mistreated by Nickelodeon because of the Camp Coral thing. Which isn't really fair, because... Because, like, the other side is still there. Like, Vincent Waller has also been friends with with, uh, with Steven Hillenburg for such a long time. So, it, I don't think it's fair to say that his word is the right word, 100%. Because, again, Paul Tibbet left the show for quite a bit. And Vincent Waller has been on the show since the beginning. So, I don't know. But then again, it's like, I don't even want to care about this stuff anymore. Like, I already made the video. The video did pretty decent. Like, at this point, I don't even want to do it. Alright, I'm gonna get this sock and then I'm gonna end the episode right here. How about that? I'm gonna end the episode. Also, this, this level is really short, I feel like. Like, it seems pretty short, because I don't think much... I don't think there's much else to do in this in this level. Look, there's only four socks, right? 
Like, there's only four socks in this level. So there's not much... This level's quite short. Like, shorter than I remember it being. Alright, you know what? I'm just gonna bolt bubble you, you stupid. Yeah, you know what? I'm, I don't care, dude. I'm just gonna like, bubble you. <laughs> I don't have time to deal with you anymore. Also, yeah. <laughs> why do I feel like, like beating these TVs up? I don't know why. Just so I can see if they work. If I beat them up. Because, you know, violence solves everything. Yeah. Uh, okay, okay. Let's try and focus here. Let's try and focus. Let's try and do our... <laughs> oh my goodness, I fell. And I fell. Cool. Alright, hold on. You know what? I'm gonna just... I'm gonna just fall off so that I don't... So that way I don't, like, accidentally set off a checkpoint. Let's... Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Thank you. Uh, man, those, those are those ARF bots are really annoying to kill. Yeah, that's why they're my least favorite in this in this game. It's just because they're so like weirdly like not that simple to kill. And that's why I don't really like them that much. Okay. Ugh. Be careful, be careful, don't be risky, don't be risky, don't be risky, be smart, be smart, be very astute, very astute, oh my goodness, okay, 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 I'm still in it, I'm still, I'm still, no, okay, okay, no, okay, okay, I, 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 I can do this, I can do this, alright, I got the sock, got the sock, and I'm gonna bounce back, alright, Alright, so... Oh, wait, hold on. I, actually, I want to do this first. The rolling ballroom! Ah! <laughs> the rolling ballroom. The room with all the balls that are rolling. And everyone's greatest fear is the rolling ballroom. Uh, That's not healthy. You should see a doctor, please, Mr. Krabs. Your eyes should not be sweaty at all. I that's or he's just crying. He, he's he's just describing what crying is like. What crying is just just your eyes being sweaty. Oh, yeah. Which actually reminds me of like a gumball joke that's really good. It's like are are you crying? No, I'm not crying, my eyes are just sweaty. Actually that's kinda gross. Yes I'm crying. <laughs> Uh, that, no, that was a good gumball joke. How do I get the ball from the shell. Oh. Well, it's on you. Why? Why is Mr. Krabs looking at me? Like, why is he looking at me like that? Like, uh, there's something about his look at the camera that's just goofy to me. <laughs> Guess just. Because he just looks dumb by just looking at me in that way. Like I did something like... Like I traumatized him in some way. I don't know. Maybe I was with him in the in the Vietnam War, giving him Vietnam flashbacks. Uh-oh. Alright, so... Next episode we're going to be doing the rolling ballroom and see if I can do it easily or not because I don't know uh, it, it's very unpredictable at this point what I can do and what I can't do I'm a sponge sure and I'll see you guys next time bye